talk is about creating a collection of panels. <coughs> I think uh, currently you know that Remora Lab is based on panels. Each panel has a set of metrics or a set of visualization around a given metric. But we have some problems even before the metrics. And in this talk, we are talking about them. Well, first, let me say my name is Alberto. I work in Viterja. Uh, and well, I work as, I say, data something and firefighter. And I basically do uh, stuff related with data, metrics, and panels. And if you need uh, something else, this is my Twitter handle and my personal web page. So what? Well, we build panels. This is Manrique, our CEO. So we are hoping you are going to help us to build new panels from today at least. And this is our daily work. We just collect visualization and put those visualizations into panels. So, well, first we need to know that we are talking about panels, but panels are just a small part within Viterja's, uh, sorry, Remore Lab architecture. Panels are located just here in Siegel's project, Remore Lab Siegel's, and is right after uh, Elasticsearch indexes and right before the browser where you visualize the, the panels. Okay, so, well, what do we need to improve? First, we have panels, panels everywhere. So basically, this is me and this is the user. When I say, hey, we have a lot of panels here, so you can look the panels we have and you can select the panels you need for your, I don't know, your goals. But the users usually are scared because we have really a lot of panels. But this was in the past in the last year, because now we have collections to organize things, so this is not a problem anymore. This is the repository right now. We have many panels. We have really too many panels. This is a, a screenshot of the whole scroll of the web page. So if uh, you need to find a particular panel, you have to go there and try to find the panel you need only by uh, its name, which is not easy. Well, so what's the problem? The problem is this is not only overwhelming for the users, but also it hides contributions because you can contribute your panel, you can put your panel there, but it's uh, very difficult to let others find your panel. So it scares users, but not only users, also contributors. Because users are not able to find panels, so contributors don't want to put the panels inside because it's difficult for uh, users to find their panels. So we need to find a way to solve uh, this first uh, problem. We have also another problem which is related with when we create a new dashboard with a set of panels, we usually didn't touch a panel, but the panel, it's been modified, and we don't know why. The answer is because right now we are sharing widgets between panels, among panels. The widget is the same, the panel is different, but we are storing the panel in a self-contained fashion, so the panel contains all the visualization. That means that uh, if you import a panel, you import everything inside the panel. If later you import another panel with the same stuff, you are importing the same and overwriting the things you imported before. So basically, the stuff you imported later is the stuff you are going to see. So you are overwriting once and again the same visualizations. If you don't, if you are not able to keep all your panels in sync, you have a problem because some panels are going to show visualizations that are not expected to be shown there. So, well, the third problem is documentation. When I talk about documentation, uh, the problem is that all the people <laughs> run away. So, I know it's a difficult problem, but we are, we are trying to solve it. Well, this is the documentation we have right now in Seagulls. A lot of to be done things. This is the documentation for the Git panel. Three paragraphs saying some, something about Git, some visualizations there. There's no screenshot there. 
there's no even a, sin, a sentence uh, telling us about what use case you can look for in the panel. Well, it's a complete disaster, so we need to change this. And well, this obviously reduces usability and use cases behind the panels are totally unknown. So if you work with Grimoire Lab dashboards, probably, probably you have faced the, uh, this problem. Well, let's talk, talk about collections. Collections should be the solution for at least some of these uh, problems. First of all, with collections, the idea is separating panels into smaller sets. These sets can be whatever. I mean, if you have some use cases, you can just build a set of panels and put the, those panels together and you have a collection. That's, that's the idea we have. And you can even use your own repo if you want. You don't need to put the panels in singles. Of <coughs> course, it's, it will be great if you contribute your repo to Grimoire Lab, to Chaos, or if you just send us a link to your collection of panels and we can share the link from our web page or whatever. But the idea is you can do whatever you want with your panels. You don't need to contribute to our project. You just need to get some Grimoire Lab data and then uh, build your panels on top of that. Well, about the panels, how we can deal with the same visualization across different panels. We cannot do uh, anything uh, among collections, but within the same collection, we can separate the widgets in different files. So if you uh, store a panel, like a file referencing older files, you can control that each widget is stored only once per collection. So this should solve the, the problem of having widgets that are changing when important panels. Uh, this is work in progress because it depends on a new tool. Right now in, in Grimoire Lab, we are using Kidas as tool for importing and exporting panels. And we are moving to a new tool that allows to export and import things in a separate fashion. And well, about documentation, we are using now Jekyll for documentation because Jekyll is supported in GitLab and also in GitHub. You can run Jekyll in your laptop if you want. You can build the documentation and it's easy to construct, to build the web page from a markdown file. So if you want other people to contribute, you can build the web page and just ask for the markdown for the panel. Maybe with some uh, guidelines, but it should be easy or at least easier than build the whole documentation for the collection. So the only requirement could be to have a markdown page per each panel in the collection. <coughs> so anyway, you have to write it. So this is true. I cannot be there to uh, help you write in your documentation, but Daniel is watching you. So take care if you're planning <laughs> not contributing with documentation because he is a maintainer in CDLs. And as, yes. And summarizing, the idea here is putting some order into CDLs because we need to organize things to allow users to find the things they are really interested in. So well, how to contribute? Well, the first way is just contributing a panel. You just need to get some Grimoire Lab data, follow some guidelines. Uh, I wrote the guidelines, so this documentation is uh, almost complete. You can follow the guidelines, and if you find some bug or you need more help, you can just drop me an email or open an issue, because I'm really interested in uh, updating this documentation for having more and more people contributing with panels. The second way is creating your own collection. This is good because you can control everything inside your collection. You can create your collection in your repository. You could add tests, you could add CAI for testing or whatever you need. Uh, in fact, we are doing it in, in Viteria to have some tests and also to have uh, the Jekyll part testing in GitLab with the GitLab CAI. 
and it's, uh, it's great because you can control that all contributions follow at least uh, some guidelines. And, well, you can always ask to include it in Grimoire Lab as a project or as a part of uh, Grimoire Lab seals. And you can always share it from your own repo, but please send us a link because it will be great to have a list of all repos with panels working on top of uh, Grimoire Lab data. I know there are some people that have uh, their own panels in, and some of those panels are based on chaos metrics, so it will be great to transform those repositories into this kind of collections to be compatible with the rest and having the documentation available and so on. So well, the collection structure is uh, really easy. It's just a directory for uh, the JSON files exported now with Kidas in the future with another tool. And a docs uh, directory. In this directory, we store all the stuff related with the Google page. But here, you just need to put the markdown files inside a directory, directory prefixed by underscore and with the same name as your panel collection. So it should be easy to contribute uh, documentation to. Well, regarding export and import, Archimedes is a new tool we are working on to export and import panels. And the idea is having separate the panels, the visualizations, and the rest of the stuff using by, used by Keybiter to uh, load panels. Uh, this tool is built on top of uh, Kibana API, so all the JSON files should be compatible with Kibana API, but you need the tool to put all the files together because Kibana requires to have all the stuff in the import. So if you want to import a panel, you need to put all the visualizations and so on. That's why we need to store it separately to control that we have unique things. And about Jekyll, the only things we require in Jekyll is uh, a front matter with some meta information, which is the author, the date in which you create the panel, the version of uh, Grimoire Lab data you are using, and the title, description, a screenshot, and layout, because it's the information we are using to build the panel in Jekyll. So just with this, um, a markdown file, you will see your documentation in, in the web page. So well, this is the web page. Manrique saw the, the web page before, so it's not something new, but it's new in the sense that we, bef we didn't have this before. And now we have a front page with a list of collections. The list includes the Chaos GMD collection and the Grimoire Lab, uh, let's say, legacy panels or standard panels. And each panel has a a documentation page like this one with a screenshot and some text, text that should uh, contain at least a definition of the metrics and one or two lines telling us what the creator of the, pan the panel expects from us to find the panel. Let's see an example, for instance. I created a panel to compare the time to first attention with time to close. Well, what I expect uh, from the user to look for there is the difference between both. Because the time to first attention is important, but, but the real, uh, relation between that time and the time to close is even more important. Because things should not remain open too much time, even if you ask it, uh, let's say, early. And well. We have right now one collection available online, which is the Chaos Collection. Uh, Daniel and Anna saw, and saw the collection before. And we are preparing also new Viteria panels. They are out of seagulls right now because we, this is work in progress. So at some point, I expect we are going to contribute these panels also to, to Grimoire Lab, but uh, it will be soon, but not, uh, not yet. The Chaos GND is available in that URL, so you can go there and look at the documentation about the new panels, 
and you can go to the repository and get the panels if you want. You can also import the panels to your dashboard, or you can just go to the dashboard, which is at chaos.bitter.io, and look at the panels. And the new panels of Bitter, yeah, looks quite similar because the web page is built on top of Jekyll, so it is easy to replicate the structure we have in Siegel. So if you are planning to have your own collection, you can go to Siegel's and get the, the structure. If you are planning using GitLab in, instead of GitHub, just ask me because we have this built on top of GitLab. So it's pretty similar, but you need to change some things. But the idea is that it's easy building new collections, adding your new panels, document that panels and share the panels with the community. And the idea on top of everything is having a small pieces of information that may be more useful than a set of panels that you are not going to understand because you are going not to be able to find the panel you are interested in. And well, uh, final remarks. As I said, building collections doesn't mean uh, out of seals doesn't mean you are not going to contribute those collections to Remote Lab because you can do it as we are going to do with the new collection from Viterja. Collections are here to ease access uh, to the metrics behind the panels. So the idea is finding a better way to organize things. And finally, if you already have your panels, please share your panels with the community and if you need help to build your own repository collection, just ask me or and other people in Viteria to help you doing it because I think the important part here is uh, having more visibility. <laughs> and a final note about uh, Brian's talk, I would like to say that when I think about data, I don't think about data is uh, going to give me answers. I think that data is going to give me more information about the questions I'm really interested in. And then I need to drill down to find the answers. And maybe I don't have the data, but that data could uh, help me a little. But this is an interesting discussion that maybe we can have later. Thanks for your talk, because it was great. And I agree with you in most of the things you said. And uh, well, thank you very much. And what questions do you have?